Dude, yep, they're in here. There's fish busting over there. I like to try to explain things so um, so you kind of know what I'm going into as far as like the fishing day, the weather, what's been going on. I'm in short sleeve, January the 4th, 65 degrees out. We had the last day and a half, it's been like thunderstorms, a lot of rain. This little creek channel here, they lower the water, so the water stays low, but it's muddy. It's up a little bit compared to what it normally is. There's fish over there. Um, usually like a lot of step fish get active in here. I got a multiple, like I got three rods, different lures. I got some worms. Also, Chris should be showing up pretty soon and we'll see what he does. There we go, finally. Chris, yellow bass. They were down here further, maybe. Okay, we got fish today. It's a chunky, is that a white? Or is yellow bass? Man, I ain't got a bite. Been trying to figure it out. Chris showed up. Still ain't got nothing, then all of a sudden, finally, I get one fish. Hopefully there's more than one down here. I wouldn't mind catching those. I do like, those do put up a good fight. Yep, there's one. He's out in the middle a little bit. Thumped that thing. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Good size ones there. There we go, we got a couple here. You want to keep one of these? That's up to you. Is that big enough to keep? I don't think there's a length limit on them. I mean, like, you want to, is it worth cleaning? I don't, I don't care either way. You can throw it back if you want to. All right, we're talking about anything else we keep, we're keep. Anything else we catch, we're going to keep. Two, if we get three, then we know we're going to hopefully get a few more. Do I got a fish on here? Oh, I do. Oh, it came off. <laughs> I don't know what I had on there. I don't know what it was. I just came back to check my worm. We're gonna, I'm gonna move down over there and throw my worm down on that shallower end. You one? Yeah. Oh, is that on that little reel? <laughs> yeah. The one that I did the restoration thing on. Yeah. Little six foot ultra light. The reel feels terrible, but it works. That's good. That is a slab. Yeah. All right, Chris got him one. Looks like maybe we're getting in a few. We're gonna keep some, and you brought the stuff to cook them with? Yep. We're gonna try to have a little catch and cook later on, so stay tuned. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. What is that? Little one, that's a little. Ah. I don't think we're gonna keep that one, but we got one one yellow bass over there to keep. That's a little one. That's fish tank right there. Yeah. All uh, right. He escapes. He lives. If I can get him loose, without him hurting me. So I make a good like. I don't know what it is. It's like it's. Oh yeah. Dude, I think hammered it. Is that gonna be a keeper? That's a crappie. That's every bit of 10 inches. Don't say it too loud, those guys will be down here. Uh, I was just hey, reeling in. Don't look, we didn't catch one. Don't look at these guys over here. All right, if that's 10 inches, we're keeping him. I don't know, he's gonna be close. Please be 10. Oh yeah, 10 and a half. We're legal, we don't wanna. I just got checked earlier when I was fishing by the, the uh, TWRA, so not that I would try to be dishonest or anything but if you're keeping fish especially you want to keep them in the right size there's reasons for those and you don't want to take a chance of getting in trouble or something for no reason so now we got two fish on the stringer yellow bass and a crappie that's at least a snack we need a couple more oh yeah oh yeah there's another one Hey, this pink thing is working. 
goodness. That's a good fighting one. Yes, sir. Oh, my. That might be a trophy size. He's definitely going to have some meat on him. That was a good fight right there. I I downsized. I, I, I got the one. Yeah, I got the 140. 30, I got, or whatever. I got the lighter than the 116th ounce, whatever you got in that kit. Yeah, and I've caught. Or and I've caught two on it so far. All right. Hey, finally. What is it? What is it? Oh, man. A little yellow bass. It's been a minute since I've got another fish. I'll tell you what, I'm getting hungry. I don't know what Chris is doing down there. He's still fishing, but I'm hoping he's thinking about cooking up these fish soon because I've been out here mm, two, a little over two hours probably. But there's another little yellow bass. And what's crazy is like, I feel like at any time more of them could, can bite, they can just come up and start hitting. They run in little schools, so get in there. Get in there, little guy. He's having trouble. Go out in the water. There he goes. All right. Fish a little bit longer. Hopefully food's coming soon. Oh. <laughs> I like it when they do that. Oh, yeah. That's another keeper. At least big enough. I moved down, made a cast. I always cast when you're walking and that seems to be when you catch a lot of fish because you give it more time so i cast it out there i was walking down the bank and then i turn around kind of tighten up my line and boom fish is on line mm, eh, i think he's too small we'll let that one go oh okay it looked a lot bigger i think it was fighting hard Oh, here we go. It always happens in the little spurts. As soon as Chris catches one, I caught one. Another keeper. Wait. Yeah, it's yellow bass. Well, it's the white bass for a second. Chris just caught one. He's going over to put it on the stringer. I catch one. It had been 20 minutes before we got a bite before that. Okay, we're starting to get something respectable. A little food here. There's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, what we got? I think it's on a little crankbait. I figured I'd throw this little crankbait around a little bit. Oh, chunky little bass. Man, if he's a little bigger, we'd keep him. But I think it got to be 15 inches off Chickamauga for largemouth. Well, he was out kind of out in the middle, so. Alrighty. Chris, you ready to cook up some food? Yeah, because it's uh, 15 to 3. Yeah. All right, we're going to cook up some food. Let's go back in. All right, we're going to. Chris is going to cook up some food. I'm going to watch. Handle one day. Never did. Hold on to it. However, I was telling that story to my mom. Yeah, the first time I used this stuff in a long time was uh, down there on Chestui. I was like, you know what, I'm going to catch one good yellow perch and use this lefties. It's like, it's good. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> no melted pork here. All right, we are got some fish. All right, I don't know which one's crappie and which one's the. I don't remember. <laughs> yellow bass. Hmm. Well, it's kind of. I was expecting it to be more like catfishy, like uh, just a tighter. Like I like it. More uh, tender. Or not it's like more dense. Yeah. Like yeah, I like that. Like, is it better or just different? It's oh. just a little bit firmer texture. That one was a little bit fishy. I, I did miss some of the red meat on the. Oh, yeah. Some of them. I ain't got a big piece yet. I'll try a big piece if I. So hot. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good, though. 
Hey, I wish I'd remembered to um, put them in with some uh, Chipotle first. That would have acted as a binder and got made that breading stick a little bit better. Which you can use something real thick like barbecue sauce or mustard or something like that to make it stick even better than uh, more liquidy type stuff. Yeah, that yellow bass turned out better than I thought. I, never, I didn't really know what to think, but it's good. I like that. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. That's going to do it for today. Man, beautiful day. I'm glad we got to get out here and just enjoy it. It's pretty windy, but um, it's like 65 degrees in 1st of January. You know, that's we were talking. It'll probably be, you know, cold during February and March or something like that. But these these warm days, it's, some of these fish get really active. And I was glad we were able to get out there and get on a few and be able to taste a few. So thanks for watching.